What's going on guys? Burrito here and today we're back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the NZXT S340 Elite. This is a uh, PC case that you can buy uh, with any pre-built or for custom builds and today we're going to be reviewing the ins and outs, the specifications, and what comes with it. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so off the bat this PC is a tempered glass compact ATX mid-tower uh, PC case and it comes to steel chassis and tempered glass construction with cable management optimized for a simple and hassle-free build. So that means that it is perfectly fine for free cable management and great cables for a custom build and or pre-built. So uh, this is streamlined VR access with HDMI and USB 3.0 from a top I.O. ports. Easy to use headset and VR cable management, pucks, and full Kraken series coolers support up to 288 or 280 millimeter. So what that means is it has full support to the NZXT Kraken, which is an AIO or CPU cooler. It supports the CPU cooler up to 288 millimeters long. So note that. Um, it also uh, has integrated PSU shroud with three SSD mounts and fully filtered, easy to remove intake. So that is for fans and the PSU. So um, if we go to specification, the dimensions are 203 millimeters wide, 474 millimeters tall, and 432 millimeters in depth. Uh, the materials is the tempered glass side panel, steel and ABS plastic for the whole build itself. Then it also has uh, an 8.13 kilogram weight and the motherboard support. So this is probably one of the biggest um, look throughs that I think is the most important is it supports a mini ITX, micro ATX and ATX motherboard. The IO ports is a, one, um, a single audio slash mic port, two USB 3.0s, two USB 2.0s, HDMI with VR support. Then it also has um, filters for the front and bottom uh, of fans. Then drive bays, it has an internal 3.5 inch uh, drive bay and an internal 2.5 inch drive bay. Uh, expansion slots, seven uh, fan support. It has front, top, and rear. So on the front, you can fit two fans. On the top, you can fit one fan. And on the rear, you can fit one fan. So uh, just to get uh, really in depth of that, uh, you're gonna wanna know for the front, you can fit two 140 uh, millimeter fans and uh, or two 120 millimeter fans. For the top, you can fit one 140 millimeter fan or uh, one 120 millimeter fan. And then um, it has um, one 120 millimeter FN version two fans included with the case. And then on the rear, it has, uh, you can fit only one 120 millimeter fan. Once again, there is a 120 millimeter FN version 2 fan included with the case. Radiator support, uh, it has uh, front 2x140 uh, or 2x120 millimeter uh, radiators, and then on the rear, you can fit one 120 millimeter radiator. Um, the clearance for GPU clearance with radiator 344 millimeter, GPU clearance without radiator. 364 millimeters, CPU cooler 161 millimeters, cable management, uh, the lowest point is 17, uh, 17 millimeters, highest point is 168 millimeters, uh, warranty two years, and then um, that's about it. So I just want to get an up close look, so let's cue to that. All right, so we got an up close look right now. You can see that uh, we got space for your motherboard and then cable management on the back. Um, we, this is what the bottom looks like and you have slots for uh, PSU right there. And then you can fit a radiator right here for um, fans, fans on the top, which they were talking about filters can go right here and then a filter on the bottom underneath. So we can actually pull that filter out um, right now we can't because the tempered glass is in the way, but um, tempered glass, it has screws, and you guys are probably wondering, what does this case, whoops, I dropped that, I dropped the screw. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, what does this case come with? So this case comes with the standard um, uh, 
case supplementary uh, bag, so that comes with screws and different wires. And um, on the website, it actually said that it came with two um, FN V2 120 millimeter fans, but I'll have to fact check that. So if you guys have any questions about that, just leave it in the question and in the leave your questions in the description, and I can fact check them for you and let you all know. But um, overall, this case is amazing, and let's cue to the price. All right, guys, so now we're on to the price of this PC case. And uh, after vast research on the internet and calling up some friends, I finally figured out a price because, believe it or not, it was actually kind of hard to find this case on the internet. I couldn't find it on Amazon, Newegg. Um, it, it was really weird. All of them are sold out. So, um, so far, I've gathered up that it costs around $70 to um, $100, but you can find it for... 80 on some websites and on the NZXT website, you can find it for a hundred. So that is around the price point for this. So 70 to a hundred dollars is what you'll be looking at for this PC case. And um, so far it looks awesome. I'll be making a video about me um, building inside this PC case. So smash the like button if you guys want to see that. And um, that's about it for this video. If you guys like my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications because I post every two days. And um, make sure to smash the like button if you guys are having a great day. And this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.